Victoria here uh, in Berlin, and I have here with me Yasmine Debo. No, yes. or less. Was it good? Yeah, it was good? Okay, it was good. It was enough. It's hard to pronounce for me. <laughs> Who is the former CEO of the Vegan Society of the UK, the former CEO of Safe in New Zealand, and uh, currently the international director at Pro Veg International. That's right. So thanks for being with us here. And uh, I'd like to ask you first about the definition of veganism, which is very well known around the world. And it was uh, made by the Vegan Society, right? Mm -hmm. And then which says, veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. Yeah. So what does that actually mean? Well, there are a couple of key words in there, so it includes seek, and that means that you're trying to achieve a certain standard, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you can always achieve that standard, because we live in a non-vegan world, and what we need to do is do our best, and that's what that definition means, seek to do our best to replace all animal use in our food and clothing and any other purpose. But all, despite our best intention, sometimes we can ask for a vegan option and we've explained why we're vegan and what it means and then still, you know, it's not 100% perfect. What do you do? Do you throw it away or do you eat it? Do you put it to the side? This is the thing where different vegans will make different decisions. So some people say, well, I'll send it back to the kitchen. Other people say, I don't want to make a fuss. It's, it's not really possible or practical to, to uh, cause this um, issue and I just will put it to the side, you know, and then I will eat the rest. Um, but that's up to the individual, so there's no such thing as a one standard that always dictates this is what you must do. Different individuals make different decisions and we need to respect that. So we can't say that um, we live in a 100% vegan world because we can't do that. The tires on our cars, uh, you know, when we drive, all sorts of um, ingredients within our, our daily life have some sort of animal exploitation attached. We try to eliminate it as much as possible, but sometimes it's not possible or practicable. And we need to be really kind of professional and realistic about achieving that goal. But we do our best and um, we won't go out and say, okay, just fine, do put some milk in, you know, that, that's not really vegan. But if, if you accidentally have a trace of milk, that's not a problem. That's not really uh, a violation of the, of the definition. Right, yeah, so it's up to each one to say what's practicable yeah. or what's... And it's different in different regions and countries around the world. So some people, are, are, you know, for them it's much harder. And I have eaten in Japan and maybe I've eaten tofu that wasn't quite 100% vegan. There might have been egg in it. But I try to explain. I don't speak Japanese and it's very common to have um, tofu that has egg or other products. And you try to avoid it, but you, you can't always 100% um, live up to the standards.